Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. I'm in the bathroom right now so that I can show you guys how to remove the heat spreaders off of memory. In this case, it's the Patriot Viper Elite Series DDR4 32GB kit 2x16GB modules running at 2800MHz. So, few reasons you would want to do this. A, to remove this heat spreader and put one you would prefer. B, if you're overclocking, you want to make sure that the ICs in the memory, or the memory chips themselves, they're called ICs, match up. The better they match up, the better possibility you're going to be able to get a good overclock. So in order to do that, we need a hairdryer. I'm bald, so this only has one purpose for me, for, for this. So in order to, to remove the, mod, the uh, heat sinks, we have to heat up the memory, all right? One thing to mention at the beginning. First off, this is gonna get hot, <laughs> so it's gonna hurt. Second is when you pull these spreaders off, they're stuck together with essentially tape, okay? So like double-sided sticky tape type stuff. Now, when you take them off, don't just rip them off crazy because you are going to rip off an IC. So let's go ahead and get started real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the volume for you guys so you don't hear the incredibly loud sound. Okay, now this is really hot. You hear it? You gotta do it super slow. You rip off an IC, the memory is dead, and they're not going to take it back. All right. No ICs there, we're good. Now let's do the other side while it's still hot. All right, that side got cool pretty quick. So now let's do the other side. Should be good enough. Remember guys, super slow. All right, we didn't pull anything off there, good. All right, so now, I'm going to show you, and I'm going to take pictures so you can better see in the review. You may not be able to see them. These have can't tell what kind of ICs they are, but I'll put pictures in this video so you can see what they are. Now, we're going to do the other memory real quick. That might not have been enough, so let's try it again.
All right, successful. Nothing ripped off. Now let's do the other side. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take this off. Hot. That came off super simple. Again, no memory, so we're good there. And let's see. Can't really see what they are. Alright, so I'm going to take a few pictures and I will be right back guys. Alright guys, so I just verified they are SEC chips or Samsung chips, both of them. And if we look over here, we can see 001117 and then over here 11BF2 and then if we look at this guy, 001117 then over here 11 bf2 so they are for both from the same date and lock code which typically is going to happen they came in the same exact package now if you were to buy this set today and maybe three months down the line you buy another set chances are they're not from the same date and lock code now that doesn't mean they're they're not going to work together. They might, they should work together just fine. But that does bring down the possibilities of a good or a very successful overclock. Now, the reason Patriot, Corsair, Giel, anyone uses different ICs in memory is based off of the bomb or the build of material. If they can get a Samsung chip cheaper today than they can tomorrow even a Patriot chip they're going to use the Samsung but then today the Patriot chip is cheaper than the Samsung chip or um, Hynix or you know any anyone that manufactures memory ICs then they're going to buy the cheapest you know they save money if they get to buy their own and if not, well, they got to have to buy other ones so they can keep the price down. Now, they're always going to choose high or they're more than likely going to choose the highest quality for you guys. And mind you, when they go and buying, they always assume that it's going to be the highest quality. But, you know, it can happen with any memory manufacturer. Patriot, Kingston, Corsair, Giel, anyone and everyone they're all going to sell different ICs and you can check that just take the memory apart from one set and the same exact set that your friend might have for example do the same thing and you'll see that the ICs more than likely are going to differ now they might be the same manufacturer but the actual ICs might be different again when you take the memory apart especially if you're taking your friends apart be incredibly careful, be very gentle when you're pulling it off, and go very, very, very slow. So now, for me to put the memory back on, okay, so I know this is one, and I know this is another set. In order for me to put the memory back on, I can literally just put it back on there. It's still sticky, but what I want to do is I want to heat up the uh, adhesive just so that it gets sticky again so one sec or even more sticky all right so I'm just almost literally just laying it back down And just putting it back together and pressing all right so now this guy's back together now we'll do the same for the other one we don't have to heat it up very long so 
he may not have noticed, but I almost knocked my memory down. And I'm just pushing it up against these two pieces of metal. And that's it. Now we have the memory back together. Just make sure they still match up. Good. <laughs> that was luck. Anyway, this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger. Again, showing you guys how to remove the heat shields off of memory. This memory in particular is the Patriot Viper Elite Series DDR4 32 gig kit, 2 by 16 gig modules running at 2800 megahertz. I will have links to this down in the description below and in the comment section below if you guys are interested if you would drag and blogger out see you guys disclaimer this product was provided to the author to do a review all opinions are 100 percent authors and authors alone for more information visit bit.ly slash db disclose to have your product or brand showcased on dragon blogger visit bit.ly slash review my product thank you for watching